Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily Ray, if this is your first time here. And today is Vlogmas day four. So I just woke up about an hour ago. I really need to hydrate because I'm feeling like I have no energy. Come here. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Mr. J has to make his cameo. Say hello. I love you so much. I just love you so much. I just want to squeeze you. But I can't because it'll hurt you. Oh, I love you. I should probably make some frozen cupcakes, but that might be for like lunch. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I honestly haven't thought about what I'm going to eat today. So I have these. I need to straighten up this again because it's, it's not bad. Definitely not bad, but there it needs to be straightened up again. I mean, can't take my eyes off of it for two days. So in this jar, I have some Ozonites from Sam's Club. And they're basically like oats, nuts. They do have a lot of sugar, well not a lot of sugar, but I think eight grams of sugar per thing. And they're not, low in calories like each one has 100 calories but it is nutrient dense it has flax seeds chia seeds it has raisins and rolled oats and i think almond flour they're really good so i'm probably gonna eat three of those and drink some water I have a lot of cleaning up to do today. My daughter has not been unloading the dishes like she's supposed to. So I'm going to hand wash these dishes today. That's a Fanta bottle. That's my husband's. So I'm going to unload these dishes. Not unload. I'm going to wash these dishes by hand today so that when she gets home from school, she has to unload the dishwasher and put the dishes up. I need to wipe off the counters, wipe off the stove top, wash that pan. Um, those are the Aussie bites I just pulled out. I do need to organize this just a little bit. I'm not as high energy today because I worked so late last night. And of course, Jameson is still potty training, so I went to bed, I guess. <coughs> Jameson, leave her alone. <coughs> Honey, you're a good girl. Um, so I need to, yeah, I need to get some liquids in my body because yesterday I had so much energy and today I'm like... Um, literally, so I'm excited that I've made it to day four of Vlogmas. Eat three Aussie bites and probably drink a pair of Fanta bottles. I think I might also have a Greek yogurt with my breakfast. You want to see my fridge? My fridge? It's horrible. Maybe that'll be a video for tomorrow, like on the Vlogmas. Look at my fridge. So I've still got it. All the Thanksgiving leftovers in here. And that's pretty much. Jameson, stop. I've got the cake, I've got creamy casserole, mashed potatoes, the cranberry sauce is still in here. So that needs to be disposed of. I've got this black cherry Greek yogurt that I'm gonna eat with breakfast. So I'm on my way to go clean at my little old man's house. And I really wanna come get the coconut refresher that I got at the Target Starbucks the other day. Anyway, this is a line, but this is how important Starbucks is to me and apparently all of these other people and maybe some of you are the same I'll sit in this line I will sit in this line and you know I'm not in a time crunch I can get there when I want to get there with my coconut milk refresher it's coconut 
Be okay, coconut berry and hibiscus refresher. This is my second one of these today. They're only 8.45 ounces, so I've drank two that's literally like one bottle of water. Okay, I'm gonna sit on this one and then I'll show you guys when I get the coconut refresher and it is gonna be about 200 calories too. I don't know, I'm gonna ask for it without the dried fruit in it like I got the other day. And I'm pretty sure that probably takes some of the calories out of it. But yesterday I only got around 1,700. And I was a little bit hungry last night when I got home, but I was like, you know what, I can just go to bed. But I did wake up hungry because of me going to sleep hungry. Anywho, let's get this show on the road. So, I got the pink drink because they told me they discontinued the drink that I got at the Target Starbucks. They told me at this one, this Starbucks, that they don't do that anymore. And then I got the spinach feta egg white wrap again to eat when I get done cleaning. Okay, so this is my little cardio setup in my back room. I got my spin bike. It's a Nordic Tract. It has this screen so that I can do classes. Right now it's got dust on it because I haven't used it in so long, but that's going to change for Christmas trimming. And then I've got my elliptical, so I'm about to get on the elliptical. Okay, so I am about to do a little electrical workout, but I'm waiting on my tablet to charge. So while my tablet is charging, I'm going to switch out the pillows in here. Hi, hey, little baby girl. I love you. I love you. Hey, Jameson. Sorry, I get so distracted by my dogs. Okay, so these are like fall or there could be spring or summer pillows. I might order some covers to put on these to have for like the Christmas winter season, but it's already what, December? Is it December the 4th? Today's the 3rd. Dang. Okay. I'm gonna put these in the laundry room because I need to be washed and then I'm gonna put the Christmas pillows in here. Actually first I might wipe down my couch real quick. There's a spider. <laughs> I really love this chair. And 
and I love them. I even got some for my assistant. I've already given them to her, but. Okay. Um, I know I bought a lot of stuff from Shein, but did I buy a lot from Forever 21? Or did they, is Shein and Forever 21 like the same company now? Did I just look out shop? I know what these are. Hold up. Boxes full of the same thing. But I got them all the same thing, and then we're gonna tie red bows around it and put like a candy cane and a little note. Okay, well, that was a very short and sweet, and I couldn't even show you. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and show because they're gonna get it anyway. I got them on white Sherpa. the same rug it's just clean and this one has a little silver woven fabric going through it I didn't know you was in there she keeps going in rooms and then I walk her in there This is why I had to get a new one. They just rubbed their little dirty bodies all over it. You need a bath, boo. Why are you rubbing on the new carpet? The like, oh, smells good. Dirty it up.
then Silk used the point on that. on so that I can check my calories so I'm probably gonna do I'm gonna try to do 30 minutes on this and then I might do some upper body weights with my 15 pound weights so let me get my watch started we're good I'm gonna find something to watch on YouTube I've got my tablet This elliptical is pretty cool. Yeah, it's Nordic Track CX 990. And my spin bike is the Nordic Track Pro Form. So with this, I can, like this is the ramp up. And so the, the higher that you lift your ramp, and the higher you're having to take steps, the more it targets your hamstrings and your glutes. So if you set the resistance higher, then you can work. You're not gonna get like huge muscles on your legs from doing the elliptical, but it could help you tone up, of course. And I'm trying to keep my hands off assisting my left because it's tracking how many steps I'm taking and how many calories I'm burning. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come back down because I just hit the camera and now I'm like going up. I don't even have a viewfinder anymore. Well, I don't even have a viewfinder. I don't know if I'm in the camera. Hi. And then after I get done with this, I'm probably gonna eat a quick meal. I'm not gonna do a lot of weights for my upper body just because I haven't lifted in so long that it's gonna, I'm probably gonna be sore. Kelly's sleeping on the floor of bed. Next to me, I'm in the back room, so this is where I have all my workout stuff. I've got a pair of five pound weights, which I really don't use those. And then I've got 15 pound weights, and I think 10 pound weights. The 10 pound weights I got are just for like lateral, lateral raises and front raises. And that will target, what is this, your delts? And your shoulders. I'm gonna do some bicep curls and some shoulder presses, and that's probably gonna be it because this is the first day. Keep in mind, like I'm not. Watch out! I hate my little dogs get up. They want. They always want to be around me, and it just makes me so nervous. But I'm trying to think. What am I gonna eat when I get done? It's 2:20, y'all. I was very optimistic yesterday when I said I was going to get up and work out in the morning because I didn't. But it's 2.20 and here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Baby, I'm looking fine. Give me, I don't know, I, can, I could lose 30 pounds quickly if I did it like crash dieting, thinner me, working out, going to sit in the sauna, but I'm not doing that anymore. I'm sick of that. Because my weight always fluctuates back up. Like the freaking ocean. Goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. I'm sick of it. So, we're gonna do steady state cardio, a little bit of lifting, cut the calories little by little. So what I'm gonna do is, my goal yesterday was 2,000 and I still only ate the 1,700. I need to make myself eat the 2,000 because I want to see how my body reacts to 2,000 calories a day. And you know, when I'm at work, I normally get around 10,000 steps, so that's about five miles of walking. So it's not like, I don't have a desk job. I'm not just sitting there and eating 2,000 calories a day and expecting to lose weight, you know. I'm walking five miles at work. I'm pulling trucks with pallet jacks putting up trucks that have 40 pound bags of flour and icing because I'm a bakery manager. So, you know, I'm somewhat, I get some 
sort of exercise but I'm, I'm really enjoying this like see this is what this is what I loved about going to the gym because with a friend not by myself because I will go in there Christina I don't even know if you watch my YouTube videos but me and my friend Christina worked out together for years we would go in there and we would talk the whole time so that it didn't even feel like we were working out and baby your girl was fine but now like I'm talking to y'all I know that eventually y'all will see it and hear what I'm saying but I don't know I was kind of like being at the gym with my girlfriend especially since I got I got um a tripod off of Amazon that's like it could even get higher so it kind of feels like y'all are just standing there and I'm talking to y'all they even got little legs you know my phone is more than likely gonna die so I'll keep recording until the phone dies because I'm gonna be watching videos on this and then I will script my phone dies I'm not gonna be able to show y'all on here how long I did it but since I'm tracking it on my watch it should show up on my phone the um one of the activity how many calories I burned to the workout and whatnot so I'll screenshot that along with the my fitness pal at the end of the day and I will put the end of this video just to hold myself accountable so I also want to reference my history with fitness. I used to work out for, gosh, maybe eight years. Yeah, about eight years, seven or eight, seven or eight years, um, consistently. Very rarely took time off. Very rarely took breaks. Maybe every, maybe every now and then I'll have a couple of weeks. So this is where I finished. And it's 186 active calories, 241 total. And my average heart rate, heart rate was 105. I do still have to lift, but I'm really hungry. So I think I'm gonna get something to eat and then So I have a brown rice bowl with chickpeas, tomatoes, spinach, onion, guacamole, and salt, pepper, and garlic seasoning. And this bowl is a hefty meal. It's probably, well not probably, it is an 800 calorie bowl, okay? So after this, let's see, today I've had the Aussie Bites, <clears throat> with some yogurt and orange the spinach um, egg white and feta wrap and now I'm having this so lots of whole grains fruits and veggies and protein and then after this I need to see I think I'll have maybe two to three hundred calories left and it's now 310 so this probably will keep me full for a good amount of time but i may have some i have some noosa yogurt that i really want which that's not it doesn't have protein really in it um it's just it's more of like a dessert <laughs> if y'all ever had noosa yogurt y'all know so i may have that later because that's around 200 calories and then that'll probably be off something i want to say is yesterday I only ate the 1,700 calories, and I know that I've said I was a little bit hungry last night, and I didn't eat. So, with me going to bed hungry and then waking up hungry, it's made me hungrier today.
So just the notion that people say, just go to bed and don't eat, you're, you're gonna wake up, you're gonna be hungry the next day. So my goal was to hit 2,000 calories, well not eat more than 2,000 calories, and I ended up eating less and then ended up hungry because of it the next day. So it was harder for me to only eat. It's harder for me to not binge today. So um, that's a mental note. If you have set your goal for a certain number because you're trying to see what your body can um, function off of, don't, like, don't jump straight for the deep end. 1,700 calories may not seem a lot like that's a, some people might not think that's a little, but 1,700 calories for me is like extreme dieting. Especially since I'm up so much at work and I work the 12-hour shift. Like, you know, y'all seen. I got up yesterday. I was decorating for Christmas and then went to work. So, and now I'm hungry today. And I'm less active today because I'm not working. I did clean Mr. Willie's. I did the elliptical. I haven't lifted yet because I was so hungry. So I'm eating this and then I'll lift weights later. That's the good thing about having weights and fitness equipment in your home. You don't have to do it all at one time. Do whatever, do whatever you can do. Do what's best for you and what any way you can get it done. Do that. You don't have to follow any strict rules to get results doing something is better than doing nothing and if i need to take a break and go watch selling sunset while i eat this rice ball this i don't even know what to call it i guess it's a protein bowl because the chickpeas and, and i've like left crap out <laughs> oh man and then i haven't cleaned the kitchen like i said this morning look look the Oh, the dogs. I was like, who is at the door? It is. Layla should be home in the next 10 minutes. So, I'll unlock the door for her. Um. Yeah. Anyway. I did not do the dishes. So. Now Layla can unload that dishwasher and I can just throw the dishes in the dishwasher. See what I did? <laughs> so I've got two 15 pounds and an eight pound and then two three pounds, which I probably won't use. So, oh man. So I'm gonna be doing the shoulder raises. And what I'm gonna do is I'll go to the front and you have to do it slow and controlled. Don't be like swinging it up there. If you have to sling it, the weight is too heavy. So, how I do mine is I kind of bend my knees just a little bit, keep your back straight, and lift all the way up to right there. Some people stop right there, but I lift all the way up. I'm gonna get to go to the side. And I'm not gonna go all the way up on the side. I, I'm, when I do the side ones, I'm gonna kinda keep my arm a little bit bent and I'll come right there. So if you can kinda see how my arm is bent. Okay, so we'll do that. This set I'm going to do 12, and the next set I'll do 10, and so on.
I'm only gonna be able to do three sets. I can already tell. Like my shoulders, the muscle memory is there. Like I used to lift for I guess about eight years in a row straight. Never took more than like every now and then I may have taken a couple weeks off. But if you want to go and look at my Instagram, it's Love Emily Ray L O V E E M I L Y R A E. And like since I've been married, I haven't posted any fitness content because not only did I get married, but I got promoted at work and I had to drive further to work and work 50 plus hours. So both of those things combined kind of affected my fitness journey. But so my, my um, body's like, I know what to do. But then my muscles are like, honey, you ain't did this in years, so you're gonna have to take it easy because I wanna just go like crazy and go balls all in, but I absolutely can't. First of all, my body wouldn't let me because I'm that out of shape, but like even this, if I stopped right now, I'm still gonna be sore tomorrow from just doing this a little bit because I have not lifted in so long. Like I used to do curl presses with like 35 pounds. And now 15 pounds is like, girl. That's what I need to do. That's what I feel like doing right now. Y'all don't pay me any attention. Okay. This is gonna be my last set. And then I need to put my hair back up. And um, do some ab roll outs with that ab roll that I bought at Target. Let me go grab something to put my hair up. I'm not breaking a sweat right now, but I was in the elliptical. But um, I don't want my neck, it looks like a palm tree. I don't want my neck to get like sticky and then my hair start getting curly. Okay, last set. Last set, this set. Your Chick-fil-A is on the way. She should be here in like 20 minutes. So I ordered her Chick-fil-A, but I didn't get me anything, clearly. I already told y'all. I don't have much more. She ain't eat fast food. Well, I did have a um, spinach, spinach and egg white and feta wrap today. Okay. Did she eat? Y'all wanna see my face up close? Cause I'm like, it hurts. It hurts. All right.
should be it for today. This is 20, almost 24 minutes of strength training. And I've run 56 active, 99 total, heart rate 91. So 57 calories, 100 calories total, average heart rate 100, and December the 3rd, 2021. So I've earned about 300 calories working out today. There's Layla. Um, I'm going to have to get put some stuff under my knees the next time I do those ab rollers. I used to be able to go like all the way down to the ground. And how far I was going today is as far as I can go. I have no ab strength. No core strength. That's why I have the fat belt. That's why I have the fat belt. There is the proof. The proof is in the pudding. Honey, you have no core. Hence, the kangaroo pouch. Oh,